Hello and welcome. Chris Kugler here with uh, another quick little Unity gotcha slash tip that I came across. Uh, basically, when importing certain Unity asset store packages, you know, you get like terrain objects, uh, cliffs, bushes, trees, and things of that nature. What I came across is that certain trees will not rotate when you place them in your terrain. So, for example, I've got a tree that's placed right here, this um, main tree terrain from this package. And just to be clear, I'm not trying to call out any particular asset store packages or anything like that. You know, just this is kind of a common thing that you can come across. And what I found out is when I go ahead and draw some trees, they are all completely uniform in their rotation. So you can just see that just by looking at the trees here, the, the roots kind of stand out quite a bit. And, you know, naturally if you're walking through an area in a game like a first person or something, like that's just going to look dumb, right? You kind of want there to be a bit more randomness. That's not how nature works. So let's get rid of these first off. So after doing a bit of research, what I found out was that um, you have to have a LOD uh, level of detail specified for your tree in order for Unity to actually rotate it. Now, to be clear, I have no clue what association those two things have. That doesn't really make sense to me that level of detail would dictate a rotation vector. But it is what it is. So, in order to fix this, I'm going to take my, my main tree here and I'm going to go ahead and create a new empty object fixed main tree and I'm gonna slap a LOD group on top of this thing and in order to actually take advantage of this I need to go ahead and put a asset on here actually can I just drag this sure can. Cool. So we've got my LOD now and this is attached to L level of detail 1 which is um, as I understand it this is detailing at what distance of the camera's um, position from the object will we render which object and naturally the idea of level of detail is that the further away you get you begin to use uh, lower polygon or lower quality texture version of those models until eventually the object is just not shown anymore. Now I don't have multiple LOD versions of this tree and for the sake of our example we're just going to worry about the object having an LOD. So we'll say at uh, whatever this far away I want the tree to stop rendering. Right. So that's good enough for us. Let's go ahead and um, make a quick prefab out of this. As you can see, I've already got a few here that I fixed. So let's get rid of this guy. Let's pop back into my terrain. Let's edit this tree. And let's switch this to my fixed main tree prefab. And let's go ahead and try painting again. Yeah, that's a little hard to see. So as you can see, uh, the roots are definitely like facing different direction. The trees are oriented differently, and it's you know my tree density settings aside, that's going to create a much more, I guess, random slash realistic look. So that's essentially it. Like I said, it's, it's very strange that Unity ties those things together. I gotta imagine it's some upstream logical gate that prevents uh, certain transform rotations from taking place. But, you know, hopefully if you come across this problem, you find this video and this helps you out. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and take care.